Welcome to the Small Scape on Saturday, where I like to share a really quick, simple tip to help you in your aquascaping journey. Today's tip is brought to you by Jeff Miatke. I see him and talk to him whenever possible at Aquashellas throughout the year. This last time a few weeks ago in Dallas, I actually asked him, I said, can I ask you a few questions on camera? He said, sure, whatever. I never got the time to get back to the Awaza booth. So Chicago, if you're gonna be there, Jeff, just so you know, I'm coming for you. I got a whole bunch of, I, I got a whole bunch of questions for you. But this tip he gave me blew my mind. So I, of course, immediately thought I'm gonna share it and it will help you as well. This is gonna, this is just such a simple tip and those are usually the best tips that you can take, whether you're a beginner, advanced, intermediate, whatever, whatever you consider yourself, this will help you. Say you have rocks, you have driftwood. Let's take a look at some of these amazing aquascapes and aquashellas this year. You take a look at these, you're walking by, and you're like, wow, these are amazing. They're striking. Maybe you can't figure out why you like them. Maybe you have some aquascapes at home you really don't like. You can't figure out why. This tip may help you. But these aquascapes are amazing. What is this tip? Say you have rocks, driftwood. You make one of them the dominant hardscape. You either have a, what I kind of label it as, you would either have a driftwood dominant scape or a rock dominant scape. You have a pile of stuff that you're working with. Just choose which one do you want to make the dominant feature. The driftwood, you have beautiful driftwood that you really want the eye to focus on then you're gonna to wanna to use less rock or plant all over the rocks, kind of cover them, so that you're not having a, like a 50-50 split. I don't know if I'd ever thought of it like that. Maybe I've done 50-50s and then it just kind of looks like, meh. There's just nothing striking about the aquascape. Yet if you really wanna focus on the rock, elephant stone is the first stone that comes to mind if you really want a lot of people use dragon stone. Uh, a lot of beautiful stone out there that you really want the eye to see that the beautiful nest of the rock. Then you would want to use very minimal driftwood so that your eye really sees, wow, that's that's really cool rock. Because otherwise your eye's going to be wondering what it, what am I supposed to look at, and then you just don't get that striking effect. So I hope this tip is helpful for you. I do. I did get another uh, little tip from him that I'm going to share, share in a future video. But let me know if this is helpful for you and have fun with this tip. Look through pictures of aquascapes, maybe, or of your aquascapes and see which one is this. Play the dominant hardscaping game. Which one is it? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.